Hi library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be making some paper fans, so let's get into the video. Supplies you'll need for today's craft. You'll need some construction paper. So I'm again using some scrapbook paper because they got some cool designs on them. You're going to need two to four popsicle sticks. Now these are uh, these are the normal size popsicle sticks um, and these ones are actually colored yellow. So I thought they would go good with our design. And then you're going to need a glue stick and some scissors if your construction paper or scrapbook paper isn't cut in half. So let's get started. So first, what you're going to want to do, so normally the scrapbook paper or construction paper would be probably a square. Let's see what the size would be. I don't know what the size would be. So it would probably be the size of two popsicle sticks. You're going to want to cut down your paper to the size of a popsicle stick. The end result is gonna look like this. Well, of part one. The end result of the fan fold, which we are gonna do right now, is gonna look like this. So what you're gonna want to do is grab your popsicle stick and you want to make sure that your fan folds are the width of your popsicle stick. And you want to make sure your paper is the length of your popsicle stick. So, we're going to grab our popsicle stick. If I can grab it. What I find best is to start off with the side B, which we are going to call the non-design side. Is there going to be our side B? So I'm going to start off with my side B facing up. So side B is going to be your boring side. And what I do is I place the popsicle side, popsicle on side A and kind of line it up at the top. Then I flip it so that side B is facing up and kind of use the popsicle stick to measure out the length I want the fan fold to be. So you can see that it is the width of the popsicle stick. So now you're just going to keep doing that. So this is going to be called our fan fold. And the reason it's called a fan fold is once you're done and you fold it in half, it looks like this. So you're going to keep doing it until you get all the way to the end of this paper. Oh, right here. And you want to kind of make sure that most your folds are even and you want to pinch it with your nails. What you're going to want to do is make sure if your fan folds turn out that side B is on the outside, that's okay. Because mine turned out that side A was on 
both the outsides, so that's fine. What you're going to want to do is, let's see, what are we going to do first? You're going to make sure, you're going to want to see where that middle of your fan is, okay? Because that's where we're going to be folding it. But first, you want to staple it. So you kind of want to mark where that middle of your fan is. My middle is right there. So I want the staples to be on the inside of it. So I flip side A up. And then you're just going to staple it. Just like that. And now you won't even see the staple. And if it's not exactly in the middle, that's perfectly fine because you actually don't want it to be in the middle of your fold. So now what you're going to do is grab your glue and you're going to want to glue that inside of your fan. And the reason why we're gluing it together is so that we create a bigger I don't know if I'm saying it right if we <laughs> the reason why we're folding it is to create kind of a bigger um, fan so you're just gonna glue it and then you're gonna let that glue dry you do want to make sure that the glue isn't making any other pages stick together because you want the full effect of the fan so if you gotta go back and clean up go ahead and clean up but what I'm gonna do is kind of open that staple side up just a little bit because it is gonna be a little stiff at the bottom because of the staple but now you can see that it's not as stiff all right so now, what we're going to want to do is you are going to want to take your fan. So you're going to make another one of these, which I already did ahead of time. So you're going to want to go ahead and make another one of what we just made. So another one of these. And then when you're done, so pause the video, make another one. <laughs> and then when you're done, come back to the video. Now what you're going to want to do is make sure both side, both fans have side B up. Remember we said side B is the non-designed side or the boring side. So you want to make sure both side B is up and what you're going to want to do is actually you're going to be gluing, ugh, you're going to be gluing both of these together just like that. So grab your glue stick. And remember, you don't want to get the glue on any other parts of the fan because you want the full effect of the fan. So you want every layer to open up. Oops. So as you can see, I got some extra glue on these windows too. So you're just going to put it on there. And then I am going to put glue on this one as well. Oh. Yeah. No. Almost glued the wrong side. So. I'm going to put glue on this one. and remember wipe off any excess glue ok 
it open. Now you're going to stick these two sides together. You kind of want to make sure that they're even. And you do want to make sure that the top part, if not the bottom, the top most is at the same. So you're going to want to hold the two together for just a couple of seconds. Looks like it's pretty dry, but we're just gonna fold it up to make sure that it's really dry. And now, what you're gonna want to do is grab your popsicle stick, and you're gonna glue the popsicle stick to the fan, so it creates a handle for you. So what you're gonna want to do is glue, make sure you put a good amount of glue onto your fan. And you do want to make sure you're watching for this part, because if you do it the wrong way, you won't be able to open your fan up. So, you want to put your popsicle stick on top, but you do want to make sure that your popsicle stick is not sticking out so farther out than the paper is even if like my paper it's not exactly even but you don't want your popsicle stick to be um, sticking out of the longest one or whichever side you're gluing first so you're gonna let that dry flip it over do the same thing on the other side. Grab your other popsicle stick, grab your glue stick, glue the paper. You can glue the popsicle stick if you want, but I decided not to. And then you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing. So if this side is a little shorter, well actually, you want to make sure your popsicle stick is the length of your tallest. If your things aren't even, you want to make sure your popsicle stick is the length of the tallest one. So you can see that this one, this fan, is a little smaller than this big fan. So I made sure that this popsicle stick is kind of a little bit more out as you can see so you're gonna wait for that to dry and then you'll see so I did create another one but I forgot to put, to staple the middle part. So you can see how it turns out when you forget to staple the middle part. It actually flaps like this. Now, if you forget to staple the middle part, that's okay. You're just gonna wanna grab, I'm gonna use the stapler to hold that one down. You're gonna wanna grab your glue stick and try to get some glue onto here. So you're gonna wanna glue the middle part. 
on both sides. And then I kind of want to flip that one up again. And you're just going to hold that center piece. Now I remind you, the glue isn't sticking on every middle piece that is in the fan. So another middle piece, like the next one after it, may flip open just like that. So you are going to have to glue all the middle pieces together. And this also works if you don't have a stapler at your house. So this is another option instead of a stapler. You're just going to open every fan fold and glue the middle. Now when you get closer to that center one, you aren't going to need to do that because those are going to be pretty tight and they'll stay by themselves. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side. So I did glue this one already, so we're going to open the next one, put some glue on. It can be pretty messy if you want. Then open the next one. Oh. oh, just got glue on my finger. This part does get a little bit messier since you do have to open your fan up. And then we're going to do one more glue just to make sure if this one cooperates. Cooperates. So you're going to want to press those together. Or what you can do actually. Duh. <laughs> you can actually fold it. So there's two reasons for the popsicle sticks. Reason one is so you can open it up like that and use it as kind of like a handle. Reason number two, let me zoom out. Reason number two is so you can close it and put the fan in your pocket. You could tie a hair tie around it to keep it closed and you can just have it laying on the table with that hair tie on it or you can place it in your pocket. But those are the reasons why we glued the popsicle stick. So that you can one, use it as a handle and two, Use it so that you can fold the fan together and put it in your pocket or just put it away so that you don't have an open fan taking up so much space. All right, let's check on our other one. So this one, we were just gluing the middle parts together, right? Yeah. So. You want to make sure you open up very carefully so you're not ungluing. So make sure you're opening up very carefully. If you have to use your fingernails, and then this back one. And then 
since the first time is going to be a little bit stiff, you're going to want to open it up just a little bit. So you can tell the difference between these two. This one's the one that doesn't have the staple in the middle of the folds. And this one's the one that does. So you can tell that this one isn't stiff at all. I mean, this one is stiff, very stiff. It doesn't flop at all. And this one flops just a little bit, which is okay. But you can see which one you like more. And that is how you make paper fans. Try it at home and see which way you prefer making your fans. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more story times, team crafter noons, crafts, and other fun videos we have. And we'll see you at the library soon. Bye.